Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 8.4, we're going to start working with the regular inch ruler. Okay, but to start, I want you to use the ruler that we made. And I'm going to give you a couple situations, and I want you to draw the length of that I give you. Okay, so here's the first one. Use your ruler to draw a worm that is one inch long. Okay, so remember it would start at the end, right? And it would extend to our first line. All right, and you could be uh, more creative with your worm if you want, but they're just going to draw a straight line. All right, now draw a worm that is two inches long, and after that, draw one that is three inches. Now line up the two inch worm so that it's right underneath the one inch worm. Okay, so move it down. Okay, and we're going to draw it out to two inches. And then three inches. All right. So the two inch worm is twice as long as the one inch worm, and the three inch worm is three times as long as the one inch worm. All right. Well, now let's look at page 144. So, for our purposes, we want to, we're just going to be looking at the inch marks, okay? So, I want you to focus on the inch marks of your ruler, okay? There are 12 inches on a, on a ruler, and 12 inches equals one foot, okay? Now, you'll notice that some rulers have two sides, okay? We're going to be dealing with the inch side. Okay, the, the other side is centimeters or millimeters. Okay, so in this case, the numbers on the opposite side are centimeters and the little marks in between are called millimeters. All right, so again, we're focusing on just the inch marks. Okay, so it says, what is the length of the string to the nearest inch? So we'd line up our string with the, with the zero mark, which is the end of the ruler. And we'd see how far it is. Okay, so it hasn't reached two, but it's past one. It's closer to two than it is to one. So we'd say this one is to the nearest inch is two inches. Okay, that's what they're saying here. All right. <clears throat> so that's all we're going to be doing today is measuring to the nearest inch. So take your ruler, a uh, regular ruler, not, not the one we made. Okay, line up the end with the zero mark on your ruler, and then see how far it is. So it just passed four, and it's on its way to five inches. But you see that it's closer to four inches than it is to five. Okay, so we'd say this one is closest to four inches. Okay, let's measure this one. So we line up the zero mark. All right, and this one could be a little tricky. Okay. But if we look here, this long line in between the five and the six, that means the halfway mark, okay? So this one is, it hasn't reached halfway, so it's closer to the five than it is to six, so five inches. All right, how about the third one? Okay, so it's just barely past two, so it's closest to two inches. Okay, this one's going to be longer than five inches, right? Okay, so let's line it up with zero. Okay, now this time you notice that it's past that halfway mark that's in between the two numbers, right? So it's getting closer to six 
than it is to five. So six inches. Okay. All right, or 15. Mm -hmm. Measure the length to the nearest inch. So we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing. Line up the left-hand side of the ruler at zero. Okay, I mean the left-hand side of the string at zero on the ruler. And then see where it ends. It just passed the four, so it's four inches. The crayon hasn't reached the halfway mark of three. So it's closer, I mean, <clears throat> the halfway mark between three and four. It's, this is the halfway mark, so it's closer to three. Okay, I'm going to guess that this one's longer than four. Probably this is going to be close to five. Okay, so it's past that halfway mark, so it's closer to the five. Okay, let's move on to number eight. So this one's just barely past the three. So it might also be three inches or it could be four. All right, well, let's see. It is closer to the four inch mark, right? Than it is the three, so four inches. All right, and this one, it's, it's definitely going to be shorter than three. It's probably, it may even be close to just one inch. So let's see. <clears throat> oh, it's exactly two inches, right? It's right at the two inch mark. So two inches. All right, how about this one? I'm going to say that this one's a little past four, less than five. So it's in between four and five. Okay. And it's closer to four. Right. So let's go ahead and go to the last page. Turn to page 416. And it wants to know how much longer is the red string than the blue string? How much longer is the blue string? Uh, sorry, the red string than the blue string. All right, let's see. So the red string, that's about two inches. But then we also have this side, and so if we straighten it up, that would also be two inches. Okay, so I'm going to write that on the sides. Two inches, two inches. Now let's see about the blue. Mm. The blue... That side is one inch. I'm going to assume that this one is also one inch, but we're going to measure just to be sure. Yeah, it's one inch. So if you took these strings and you stretched them out and made them straight, wouldn't that be two inches? Right? This part is one inch. This part is one inch. If we made it into a straight line, blue would equal two inches. And what if we took this red and we made it totally straight? Well, again, we'd have two plus two, so the red equals four inches. Okay, so now, how much longer is the red than the blue? Well, four minus two is two, so two inches longer. So what happens if we took the red and the blue and put them end to end in a straight line? Wouldn't that be 4 plus 2? The red is 4. The blue is 2 inches. So 4 plus 2, 6 inches. So this is what they're saying. They're saying, stretch the blue one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and write blue here. And I'll write how long it is. Okay, this is probably not exact. I'm just giving you an example. And then we add the red to it. Okay, so we're putting them end to end, the end of the blue, put the red, and the red one was four inches, and four plus two is six. All right, and 13. Mrs. Grant's pencil is five inches long. Is this Mrs. Grant's pencil? 
Use an int ruler to find out. Use the numbers and words on the tiles to make the sentences true. All right. It doesn't look like five inches to me, but let's just check. Yeah, no, it's, it's not five, right? It's close to three inches. So the pencil is, we're going to say three inches long. It's a little over three inches. This pencil is or isn't. Mrs. Grant's was five inches. This one's three inches. So this pencil is not Mrs. Grant's pencil. Okay. All right. So that's it for measuring to the nearest inch using a ruler. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.